بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد إن شاء الله عز وجل I would like to encourage you brothers and sisters to make yourselves busy and to take advantage of the time and what remains of the month of Ramadan. There are days that are behind us and some of them have been squandered because the person did not take the time out to cease the moment and to get advantage of what Allah Ta'ala has given us in the way of the time. The Arabs say that the time is like a sword. If you don't cut it, it's going to cut you. And Allah Azza wa Jal, He swore by Al-Asr, Wal-Asr, Inna al-Insana lafi khusr. All of mankind is in a state of loss. Except those who believe and they do righteous deeds and they mutually cooperate with each other by advising each other to the truth and advising each other to be patient. So Allah swore by Al-Asr, which is all of time. Or it can be Asr time. That goes to show the significance of the time itself. And the Nabi, he mentions Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ni'matan maqboonun fihima kathirun min al-nas. There are two favors that Allah bestowed upon people. Many people are losing these two favors. And he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they were as sihhatu wal faragh that people who were given good health and people who were given time, free time. He didn't take advantage of his free time. He told us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ikhtanam khamsan qabla khamsin. Take advantage of five things before five things happen. And he mentioned, take advantage of your life before your death. Take advantage of your youth before you become old. Take advantage of good health before you become sick. Take advantage of your wealth before you become poor. Take it advantage of your free time before you become busy. So with that being the reality, I would like to encourage you. There's nothing better to engage yourself in in terms of utilizing your time than memorizing the book of Allah and learning this religion, reading the Quran, engaging in the Quran. And from that, dhikr is memorizing the dua, especially those dua that are filled with a lot of benefits. So from those duas that I want to encourage you to try to learn is the tremendous dua that the Prophet said, وسلم, if a person says it three times, it would be so weighty in the scale. He said that the person who says, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi adada khalqihi wa zinata arshihi wa rida nafsihi wa midada kalimatihi. Anyone who says that three times is going to be very heavy in the scales. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi adada khalqihi wa rida nafsihi wa zinata arshihi. This is a tremendous dua. Our mother, one of his wives, Sallallahu Alaihi was sitting at her musalla in his house and the Prophet left. When he came back at duha time, four hours later, three, four hours later, she was in the same place making dhikr of Allah. He said, I'm going to teach you a dua. If you say this dua three times, it will equal all of those hours that you were there making dhikr. Three, four hours. And he taught her the dua I just told you. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, adad khalqihi, wa zinata arshihi, wa midada. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, adad khalqihi, rada nafsihi, wa zinata arshihi, wa midada kalimatihi. The other hadith or dua that I would encourage you to learn is the dua of Sayyid al-Istighfar. Sayyid al-Istighfar. The best dua that a person can make who's trying to seek Allah's forgiveness. كُلُّ بَنِي آدَمْ خَطَّاءُونَ وَخَيْرُ خَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ All of Adam's children, they make mistakes and the best of them who make mistakes are those who make toba. They make istighfar. Allah Ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, وَلَوْ يُؤَاخِذُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ بِظُلْمِهِمْ مَا تَرَكَ عَلَيْهَ مِنْ دَابَّةٍ 
If Allah were to hold all the people responsible and to account for what they've done, their mistakes, he wouldn't leave a single person on the face of the earth because they're all making mistakes. So let us make Tawbah. And the best words to say when making Tawbah are the Sayyid al-Istighfar. Allahumma anta rabbi. La ilaha illa ant. Khalaqtani. Wa ana abduka. Wa ana ala ahdika wa wa'dika mastata'atu. Abu ulaka bi ni'matik alayya wa abu u bi dhambi. Faghfir bi. Innahu la yaghfiru al-dhunuba illa ant. Tremendous dua. The Prophet says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whoever says it in the morning, whoever says it in the morning, believing in it, and then he dies before that evening, he'll go to Jannah. Whoever says it in the evening, believing in it, and he dies before the morning, he'll go to the Jannah. So this dua is the Sayyid al-Istighfar. is good for a person to make it in his salat. It's good for an individual to make it when he's sitting down. It's good as a dhikr. And also it's one of those dua that are made for the morning time and the night time. So may Allah make it easy to help us to be of the people who are making a lot of dhikr. And from the dhikr is the dua. A man came and said, Ya Rasulullah, kathrat aliyya shara'i islam There are many things to do in Islam. Many things to do. as salat al-zakat, psalm, going to the masjid, learning. There's so many things. He said, just advise me with something and make it simple. He said, لا يزال لسانك رطبا من ذكر الله. Don't allow your tongue to become dry from the dhikr of Allah. Keep it moist. Keep it wet. And this is from the best dhikr. هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.